Welcome back to another video. I am not gonna do a big intro. I just want you to put on your headphones right now and closely listen to what I have to say to you. I uh, know a lot of people who struggle with thoughts of self-love and also even stranger to them would be the thought of someone else loving them. Maybe they can tense up, resist the idea. What is love, really? We don't know. It's many things. Some see love as a connection between two people that is exclusive between those two people. Some have intimate love with more people. You can love your family, your parents, your kids. For this session, I want to talk a bit about this idea of love and why you deserve it. You might be listening to this video because you're already in a relationship with uh, someone and you find yourself tensing up, resisting the idea that this person actually does love you and cares about you. You might be afraid that you're pushing them away. It might be boring. Why would they love me, you might think. Oh, perhaps there's been a uh, pattern in your past. Mm. Somehow making you feeling unworthy of another person's love. Sometimes people who have developed this habit of thinking of themselves harshly, they try to explain away other people's love. They'll say things like, well, they can't possibly love me, really, because if they really knew me, they wouldn't love me. You know, if they knew the true me, they wouldn't love me. And this belief of being unworthy of love, it won't let you accept the warmth, tenderness and open-hearted affection that the other person is trying to give you. This can create a very painful conflict inside of you, where on one hand, you deeply want to be loved, you want to be accepted by someone, feel affection, that one person that really just cares about you. And uh, on the other hand, a part of you believes that this is of course impossible, you don't deserve it. <laughs> this can lead to you keeping people at a distance, or sometimes even subconsciously sabotaging your relationships by provoking and testing the other person, where it's almost as if you, you want to try and make them dislike you just to prove that you are right about you and they are wrong. They finally know the real you. Now, it may be that you need to learn how to accept yourself more, how to be more kind and fair toward yourself. And it also may be that there are negative relationships in your past that you need to move on from and put behind you. You don't want to drag the history of bad relations into your future. You have experiences, you learn from them, and you let them go. The uh, hypnotic part of this session will help you in these areas specifically. 
but the main focus of the session is on learning. Learning to connect with a simpler, deeper, and more primal part of your mind. The same part I talked about in my witch video with the tarot cards. It's not the thinking part of you, the ego or it. No. You want to get all the way down beyond the part of you that thinks about whether you're worthy of this or whether you deserve it. The instinctual part of you that has this same innate drive. The same drive that helps other mammals to sleep, eat, and play and connect with others. Modern scientific research has discovered that human beings, like many other mammals, have what are called mirror neurons in our brain. And they let us instinctively empathize with others. This means that we can see someone's facial expression and instinctively know what they're feeling. It's actually also one of the challenges about talking to people over the phone or online in VR even can be difficult to sense what people are feeling without using those mirror neurons. A huge amount of your brain is dedicated specifically to being able to empathize, connect with, and bond with others. Just as true animals can become totally inseparable, care for each other, protect each other, and sleep curled up together for the rest of their lives without ever needing to worry about their self-esteem levels. Mm. There is already a deeper, more primal part of you that instinctively knows how to love and be loved. So, whatever negative or bad thoughts and experiences you may have, these have only temporarily cut you off from those instincts. I will help you begin to reconnect with them now in this totally safe and deeply relaxed way as you listen to this session repeatedly over the next few days and weeks to come. If you're ready, I want you to sit down and relax and I will pamper you while I do my hypnosis all right good now as you prepare yourself to relax very deeply you can just close those eyes if you haven't done so already. And just for a moment, I'd like you to think back, way back to a specific memory of a time when you found it hard to accept love from someone so that your unconscious mind properly understands that this is the pattern you want to change. So just remember a particular time now. And 
when you've got one. Notice just where you were at that time, roughly what time of day it was, who you were with, and what they were trying to communicate to you by what they were saying or doing, and how you felt about that. And as you remember that now, just tune in to the sensation in your body. Notice how those shoulders and that neck feels. Notice how the chest and upper back feels. Scan your body for anywhere that feels tense or tight. And we often talk about putting up a wall to keep people out and metaphors like that of putting up a wall tend to directly affect our bodies. And you might find that when you resist accepting someone's love, you suddenly tighten your jaw muscles. Or you might find your chest and shoulders become more rigid as a way of keeping that person walled out, keeping them distant not letting them close and of course this isn't something you've been doing deliberately it's an unconscious habit of resistance of saying no and rejecting someone's warmth and love and it's a pattern you are probably all too familiar with and it may have caused you a number of difficulties over the years and as you take note of all those sensations associated with this resistance you can really form a firm intention right now in your mind to break free of that habit to take off that rigid armor of tension that you've been wearing and to soften your muscles to relax and open gentle and gradually over the course of the next few minutes into a deeply absorbed state of relaxation and inner learning So right now, just take a very slow, deep breath and let the air out smoothly and evenly. And you can breathe like that several times, like sighing with comfort, sighing with relaxation, letting go deeper and deeper with each and every breath as you let any thoughts in that mind any memories any plans or thoughts about the future all just drift away for now so that you have the time and space here simply be comfortably breathing in more and more relaxation and breathing out any and all remaining tension as those delicate facial muscles soften as the muscles around your jaw loosen and as those shoulders sink just a little more with each and every out breath you can find yourself unwinding 
any little knots of tension in that neck or in those shoulders unraveling untangling and you might even notice tiny little shifts happening in the spine and in the neck muscles the head rotating ever so slightly in a way that would be imperceptible to anyone looking at you but you can feel it inside unwinding those little knots unraveling letting go in the upper back and the lower back an expansive opening threads of soothing healing colored light weaving in and out all around dancing through the muscles and tendons a loosening in the upper arms and the lower arms those fingertips tinkling with the dancing freeing energy the muscles of the stomach and pelvis releasing letting go as this unwinding relaxation spirals all the way down through those legs feeling those toes wanting to wriggle ever so slightly with pleasure as they let out the last of that old tension and as that whole body relaxes twice as deeply now and that's it as the relaxation within you doubles right now you can just take one more very slow deep breath and let go into the stillness that inner silence of this sanctuary within you now that's it As you drift deeper still, deeper and deeper into that pure state of mind where you can learn at an instinctive level how to make changes within. I'd like to remind you that over the years you've probably seen a wide variety of animals. Sometimes they've been wild animals on for example nature documentaries sometimes they've been birds local wildlife in the garden sometimes they've been pets your own or other people's and you've seen a variety of insects mm -hmm. All of these animals are driven by instinct, driving them to act in certain ways. Sometimes animals fight, sometimes they play, sometimes they sleep, sometimes they eat. Instincts that we as humans are very, very familiar with too. And I remember seeing a documentary about penguins and now penguins are known to mate for life and when a penguin has found its mate the two of them huddle together in the cold standing on the ice and they give each other warmth day in day out ever faithful affectionately grooming each other's feathers Staying true 
to each other. And a friend of mine recently sent me a video clip of a kitten and a tortoise. They had become inseparable. The kitten sleeping on the tortoise's back and the tortoise slowly following the kitten around, wanting to be near it. Mm, yeah, and another clip. A friend forwarded was of a blind dog. Mm, used to be terrified of people. He had been abused. And the rescue center paired this dog with another rescue dog that could see. And the seeing dog learned to lead the blind dog around to uh, protect her. To not tear away from walls and obstacles. And those two bonded so deeply. As the blind dog got back her confidence in her ability to trust people. And one of the things that really distinguishes humans from other animals is our capacity to think. To think about the future and the past. But our thinking can sometimes lead us astray. Because love is much, much simpler, more fundamental, more primal than thinking. Nobody writes a checklist and decides if someone is worthy of love. Love comes from a totally different place. Love is one being of whatever species saying to another, I like you. I want to be with you. I am happy when I'm with you. And so, just for a few moments, I'd like you to find yourself in a much simpler time before any of the complexities of the modern world and the modern mind maybe tenths of thousands of years ago maybe even a hundred thousand years ago living a much simpler life foraging for food gazing up at the stars at night with simpler thoughts here in the mind and the body of one of your very distant ancestors and just like the little kitten and tortoise like two penguins like a blind dog and her gentle loyal protective partner I'd like you to notice the reality of curling up at night in the security of your cave or your shelter with someone you deeply and instinctively care for and love at a level far deeper than words. Someone who deeply cares for and loves you so that the two of you are mutually devoted in this time, way before the dawn of our civilization, in a way that's so much simpler, more primal, more instinctual, no thoughts, just curling up together in warmth and mutual affection. With a softer, more open chest, a softer, more open heart, I'd like you to travel forward in time and feel a 
release and letting go as you do so, because there was once a younger you who was walling themselves off from people, and as you think back to that younger you now, you can really feel compassion for them and for that tension you were carrying around back then. As you see that younger you in your mind and send them the reassurance and the support they need to know that they are going to be okay and that it is okay to relax and let go now to each and every level of your being. And as you feel the release in your body and sense the real ability you now have to be so much more open to being with someone who cares for you, who feels warmth, affection, and love for you. How you can notice, how you instinctively open up more to them, to give them your simple, primal affection and love, and to take inside you the love that they give you to be able to embrace as two beings who simply love and care for each other. And you can listen to this session often and strengthen this inner connection to your instinctive ability to love and be loved each time that you do. And for now, you can begin to feel more alert and refreshed and prepared to come back all the way with a real sense of good feeling by noticing the position of your body, the sensation of whatever it is you're resting on, and then whenever you're ready, you can just have a nice stretch and open your eyes.